motion. They swing it out to Rathman. And Rathman is hit at about the six-yard line. First and goal at the six. Young passes out to Brent Jones, and he is hit. And a fine play by Rod Wooston. Remember, Wooston was second on the team in quarterback sacks last year with six. Area of it. Second and seven. There's a blitz. And the pass is intercepted. Rod Woodson is down to Niner territory. From him, and now he's going to float this ball to Jones too high. Zone coverage by the Steelers. That's why Woodson was there for the interception. 21st career interception by Woodson. He's gone to the Pro Bowl four consecutive years. And a first down on the 42. Foster gets maybe a yard with 7.50 remaining in the third quarter. Woodson with the pick. And it's 17 to 10 of the Steelers. Now have changed the momentum dramatically in this game. Cisco can capitalize on the Steeler rolling of the dice. Young hit as he lets go. And it's intercepted again by Ron. Rod Woodson with another pickoff, and he laterals to Johnson. And Johnson still on his feet. Goes out of bounds, and a penalty will be against San Francisco. And now we have a melee going on that is quickly quelled by the officials. But this is a great catch. One-handed job by Woodson. Watch the right hand as he lays out and sucks it back to his body. And then the heads-up play of lateraling it to Johnson, but watch Ricky Waters at the end of this play. Johnson's clearly out of bounds, and there's Waters oh. with the cheap shot. Woodson made the interception, and you know, not far behind him was Jerry Rice, as Young came very close to hitting a long one. He got... Oh, but the problem here is, of course, at this time left on the clock, they only have one choice, that's the alley -oop. Just three seconds, and Everett lofting it towards the end zone. A host of Steelers there, and it falls. This pass in and out of the hands of Willie Anderson, incomplete. Flipper had it for a moment there, but Rod Woodson, the cornerback, able to separate him from the football. About the only thing he's dropped today, and I tell you, that was an, uh, this is this is classic Jim Everett. The one thing that anybody that coaches against the Rams know, they know that third and eight for Everett and the Rams. Everett knocked by Woodson on the safety blitz. Woodson blitzing from his left cornerback position. Rob Woodson said to us on Thursday, we did not play aggressively last week in the first half against the 49ers. He said, we need to be more aggressive on defense. They have a lot of pride in this Pittsburgh Steeler defense. He's one of the leaders, and I'd say that's being pretty good aggressive right there. <laughs> he went after it. Season ago, now Nickerson with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But Nickerson was a guy that would go up and pop somebody on the off right at the end of his end zone as Woodson awaits it. This is a dangerous situation for Rod Woodson back there now. He's at midfield already. Good high kick by Johnson. Woodson backpedals to the 45. Makes a great cut. Rod Woodson, look out! Lee Johnson, the punter, able to get him out of bounds. So dynamic, so exciting is Rod Woodson. He's already having a career so far this year, three interceptions. This guy, when he gets his hands on the football, is just electrifying. So fast, one of the fastest men in the entire National Football League, and Lee Johnson's just happy he ran out of bounds. He wanted no part of that guy. 38-yard punt return by Woodson puts the Steelers in great shape. Chris Collins were at Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh. Rod Woodson, a 39-yard punt return, his longest since he took 180 yards for a score against Kansas City last season. Four straight Pro Bowls for him. The first dealer since Mike Webster to go to four straight. You know what? He had a 20-day holdout getting his new contract, and when you make a mistake like that, the people that you alienated during the course of that holdout, they're the first ones to point to something like that and say, see? Goodbye. Johnson still here's Rod Woodson. And Johnson can't make the tackle. And Woodson with a run back to the 50-yard line. Back in the league and a great kick returner as well. It's almost a cliche to say what a great athlete he is. Many say the best in the league, and that could well be. A 
but he has been the underneath man in this red gun offense. Harold Alexander, rookie from Appalachian State. 40-yard kick, fielded by Woodson. And Rod takes off again. But is that pretty or what? The 47-yard line, and he's tackled by the punter, Alexander. <laughs> Whoa, that's ooh. tipped and that's incomplete. Woodson. All right, we're, we're not going to talk about it anymore. We'll do it in the open next week. <laughs> that's right. We owe you, right? We owe you better than this. Yeah. Smart move to keep him out there. Long way to go. Uh, coming into the game tonight adds to that total and you're right he's he is the real deal the total pack yeah, coming in tonight Steve Hurd had an interesting figure in 23 games he's had nine interceptions eight sacks two fumble recoveries and an 80 yard punt return for a touchdown and that's just another interception computer stats as the crew heads south and this pass is heading south and it's batted and kicked off in the end zone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, how about that? Ron Woodson equals, <laughs> he equals his career high with his fifth interception of the season. He wanted to make sure the guy in the Steeler jersey got it. <laughs> yeah. he, he knew he gave it to the Falcon jersey last time. Ron Woodson, in an illustrious career, has never picked off more than five passes in a year, but the... He's just picked off his fifth, and the season is only a quarter over for the Steelers. Well, Frank, uh, I think, really hit on it early. You don't get that many interception attempts when they're always throwing the ball the other side of the field. <laughs> that ball was booted back up into the air by, by Derrick. Second and nine. Wilson for Brown. Can't hold on. It's intercepted. Woodson. He's going to score, Jim. Ron Woodson will score. Deflection. Tim, first you're going to get the pressure up. Wilson has to make it. Watch the tip. Okay, the ball's behind. Woodson's right there in that zone. Rod Woodson is not only a fine pass defender, but one of the great return men in all of football. And here he shows you how simple he can make it. So the Pittsburgh Steelers on a 63 yard return by Rod Woodson, the second return for a touchdown with an interception in his career. And he now leads the NFL with six interceptions. Having uh, another great year, this four-time Pro Bowler team. On first down, and that is incomplete. Intended for Brad Muster. That ball was on the money. Muster just dropped it. Defensively, for the Steelers, for the Saints. Wilson gets some time. His sideliner is nearly picked up. Is it inbounds? Yes. Woodson caught the ball and stayed inbounds. His second interception. Tim, we are getting a Rod Woodson highlight film right here in the first quarter. Challenge of man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to watch the ball. Throw it to the outside. Woodson with a great break on the ball. Now just go down and get it. Watch Woodson break. Now he breaks before the receiver does. Tim, when we speak to the defensive people around the league, they flat, flat out tell you that Rod Woodson is the finest cornerback in the National Football League. That, that's, you can't get any better than that. Here's in Gary Jones into the secondary on second and 14, and that's incomplete. And Woodson doing the job on Eric Martin. Tip. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a defensive back come out and dominate a full quarter of play like I've seen Rod Woodson do right here. I mean, he's making tackles, he's making interceptions, he's knocking balls down, he's taking back touchdowns. Heck, he's winning the game 7-0 by himself. Well, you know he scored 
17 points in his final game as a senior for Purdue against Indiana when they let him play some offense as well as defense. He is, he is just an awesome athlete. Eric Brown. And Woodson runs him out of bounds for a loss of a yard. Woodson has been all world here today. Well, he's, he's been unbelievable. You know, he plays the pass, he plays the run, he forces him, he turns kick, he kicks back touchdowns. The guy has just been unbelievable. Sacked. Guess who? Rod Woodson. The man of steel with the big play of the game. Of his game. Bernie is more of the short ball control. Berg intercepted by Carnell Lake. He laterals to Woodson. He throws a block. We go down to the 15. It's 15 to go. DeBerg throws, and he advertised where it was going. Rod Woodson picks it off. Dolphins fail to score over. Going home or staying home. At the seven-yard line, it's Woodson. Not past the 40, up to the 47-yard line.